Hey folks, how you doing? Uh, Ron Shawley here. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the um, Accurate 5-in-1 weather station, okay? I want to go through this uh, as, as fast as possible, but at the, but at the same time I want to give you um, <clears throat> good accurate information, okay? This is basically how you set it up, alright? This is the Accurate 5-in-1 station, and what you're looking at right now is the console um, that you mount on your wall, okay, and on your console you have wind, indoor, outdoor temperature, you have your barometer, you have your wind chill, your dew point, um, it has your alarm settings on the bottom where you can set each sensor for its a high, you can set a high and low parameter on each sensor, okay, like if you have wind chill, say if you set the wind chill for minus 10 wind chill. When the sensor reaches minus 10, it will then send you an email indicating that you have achieved uh, a low end on your wind chill outside, okay? So, okay, so what you do first is you mount the panel, okay? You program it, you can pro, you know, you basically hook up, you, you have to go through here, set your clock and all that, you know? You have to set your USB mode, and all that means is the USB mode is um, you're setting it to channel one, two, three, or four, so it can correspond to the um, bridge element. All right. Now some of them have a bridge built in, and I'll show you the bridge here in a minute. Okay. Gizmo right there that's flashing. That's the Accurate bridge. That right there is receiving data from the weather station outside. The data hits the bridge. From the bridge, it takes it right to the internet, okay? If you see here, okay, that is the uh, the Accurate 5-in-1 right there, okay? Um, you can see the solar panel. I need to clean the snow off of there. Uh, you want to make sure you clean the snow from your weather station. Oh, oh, is that cold? You want to make sure you clean it off every day, okay? Especially that solar panel. That solar panel gathers light, converts it to energy, and there's a fan inside of the weather station here. It's cooling down the uh, the inside of the Accurate, okay? But basically all you're doing is you uh, you put your batteries in. Um, they recommend lithium batteries, and that's what I recommend too. Lithium, they'll last a lot longer, okay? So the Accurate 5-in-1 weather station is all complete, everything is there, your your rain gauge, wind gauge, temperature, humidity, everything's right here, okay? Wind direction, all right? So, again, data from here is being sent right now to my console and also to my bridge in the office. What we do next, okay? I mean, I'm kind of buzzing through it real quick, but what you want to do, um, is you have your program called your backyard program. Let me pull it up here. The backyard station, okay. Um, this is the, the software program that comes and it's all free and it comes with your, your accurate weather station, okay. Now, I have on here as well. I've also incorporated on here another weather station called Blue Knob Ski Weather Station, okay? So, I scroll down the page, and I'm going to come to my weather station, the Chicory Bridge. Now, the bridge, as I just showed you the bridge, okay? So, the bridge is, you know, giving me 29.8, my barometer reading, okay? Barometer pressure. Now, I have a sensor in my attic, okay? You can buy additional sensors to hook up to your weather station. I chose to put one in the attic, because I want to know what the temp temperature is up. I want to know if I have heat loss in the attic, all right? So I have my weather station here. It's shown 26 degrees, humidity, rainfall, wind, wind chill. It also gives me my 8 to 12 hour forecast, and you can go 12 to 24 hour forecast as well. Um, feel like temperature 21, dew point 20, heat index is 28. All right, so it calculates everything for you uh, in the software. Now, let's look at the uh, temperature sensor, okay? 
if you have it, it calculates your low your high temperature for the day you can reset that you cl simply click on reset and it resets it to uh, to start over okay click on chart it's going to give you a chart down here showing you the temperature throughout the day you can go each sensor has a capability of, of setting an alarm okay so let's take for example um, my, and you can color code your chart too if you want it gives you the option of color coding each of your sensors right making it easier to see on the chart itself now I want an alarm I want the, the station to notify me if my windshield reaches say zero okay so I click on the sensor icon okay or the alarm sensor okay and it's gonna say to me low alarm 121 okay Fahrenheit well and that's that's actually um, I can say um, let's just say that I want the windshield at minus um, minus 10 okay when the windshield reaches minus 10 all right and I hit on okay send alarm message okay it'll then email me if I put in my email here and my my set my email address okay and I hit save I can put in my cell phone too okay and all you're doing is collect you know you're pretty simple for you know whoever you're whoever you have you know you can put it in there okay your carrier um and I hit save okay and it's going to load it into the system all right so now now the alarm is set and and what happens is the bell will be highlighted indicating that you have set the windshield um, parameter okay okay you can go onto your camera and you can download the um, AccuLink program it's called my backyard weather AccuLink and right there it is so you can see my weather station coming up on my cell phone all right right there very very convenient let's move on now one of the things you want to do when you have the software program up you want this data here to go onto the internet now what you're gonna have to do you come up on your when you're logged in you click up in the corner and you basically set up your bridge okay and then you're gonna share my bridge and when you share your bridge all right you have to type in all the information and you're sending it to weather underground so you, you know you have to have an account set up with weather underground on the, and then you're, then the data then just goes to simply goes on over okay so I like it a lot just remember that you know you got to go through one step at a time okay but you're basically taking your data from your weather station to the software program and then once once you have it here you create an account with weather underground and then you're just gonna you know sign up and it's a real simple process all right